Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Today's topic Algeria. Is it worth visiting Algeria? Well, I think in this country, uh, I can do the truth or I can yeah, lie. Oh, no, 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 no. You sure? Yeah, yeah. okay. How are you? Good. Alhamdulillah. I see why people come across as aggressive when they speak to you. Algeria is situated in North Africa, bordered by the Mediterranean Sea to the north, Tunisia and Libya to the northeast, Niger to the southeast, Mali and Mauritania to the southwest, the Western Sahara to the west, and Morocco to the northwest. Its strategic location made it a crossroad for cultures and civilization for centuries. Algeria is the largest country in the African continent since the division of Sudan in 2011. Algeria boasts a captivating tapestry of diversity, both in its people and languages. The population of Algeria is a melting pot of various ethnicities, each contributing to the country's vibrant cultural mosaic. From the indigenous Berber communities to the Arabs and the Tuareg population, Algeria's people reflect a rich blend of historical influences. This diversity is not only evident in the physical appearances, but also in traditions, cuisines and the art forms, that have evolved over centuries. The linguistic landscape is equally intricate, with Arabic being the official language, acting as the bridge to the wider Arab world. However, the presence of Berber languages, each with its own unique dialect, underscores the indigenous heritage that has been preserved across generations. The linguistic richness not only reflects Algeria's past, but also paints a dynamic picture of the nation's present where unity is found in celebrating its multifaceted identity. So, is Algeria worth visiting? In my humble opinion, I would say yes, most definitely. But what makes Algeria worth visiting? Number one, the people. Algerians are incredibly generous, welcoming and kind. That's not your friend? No, he's not his friend. He's just oh, I was taking, I was posing a picture of him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought this was your friend. <laughs> I don't know this guy. Come on. It's Kamal. Kamal. My name is Chris. Kiris. Shukran. Hello, Kiris. Hello. Welcome to Algeria. Welcome to Algeria. Marco. Perfect, thank you. Nice. You're a celebrity yeah. in Algeria now. Okay, so you know the story, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> he said, I'm gonna go see my friends with the, the hat. Uh, I thought hat. that was his friend, so I was like, I get in a photo. <laughs> I thought it was you. Three, uh, you oh, oh, four, oh, four, oh, four, oh, four. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> We're brothers. People keep asking you and my dad. It's yeah. like a, it's like a tradition. That's why it's the guy. Holy. Ah, it's holy. Holy. Yeah. People kiss people with all heads. Yeah, it's like. Yeah. Yeah. That's why the guy wanted to kiss your head so much. Everybody wanted to kiss my head. Ah. Ah. Oh, and I'm in Nigeria. Ah, mashallah, Nigeria. And you're from the Taka Hadi. Adrar. Ah, Bashar. Ah, Sahara. Sahara. Mashallah. كان عندي فكرة أن أشوف بشار ولكن الوقت مضيق لازم نرجع إن شاء الله مرة الجاي And to my surprise they don't have a scamming culture Number two, the food In regards to cuisines uh, Algeria has quite a variety. Uh, there are also many restaurants which, which serve traditional Algerian meals. One thing I did find strange though is there are not many foreign restaurants. So you may find um, a Syrian restaurant for example but you wouldn't find like a McDonald's or you wouldn't find a... It's an, I, I didn't see McDonald's once. I spoke to a friend who told me that there is no McDonald's in Algeria. Um, during my time there, I didn't see a Pizza Hut or a KFC. It's, uh, it's more traditional, healthy cuisine, which is quite nice. I, I definitely say Algerian food is is nice. It, it's tasty, and it's um it's it's uh, it's healthy in comparison to many other countries that I had visited. It's spicy. It's called the uh, hamis. It's very spicy. Mm. Hamis. Mm -hmm. Is that potato inside? Huh? Yeah. Good stuff. Huh? Yeah, this is good stuff. I can't lie. Okay, this is steak ham. Steak what? Steak ham. 
Shtit halham, which is la puree. That's yeah. French for uh, uh, mashed potatoes. Uh, mashed potatoes. And then what's next to it? So what was this? This is batata kusha. It's potato in uh, like uh, the oven. This is literally what it means, batata kusha. You know, kusha is the oven. So okay. they make it in, uh, in the oven, like a casserole. Okay, got it. Number three, the history. Algeria was part of the Ottoman Empire. And not to mention, Algeria was also colonized by the French for 132 years. That's quite a long time. The French definitely left their architectural imprint. Algeria also has a number of grand landmarks, one of them being the iconic Constantine Bridge. Algeria has a number of caves. They have ruins. That's Roman yeah. ruins in Tifaza. Oh, okay. Those are Roman, they're not as ancient as these ones. This one I'm talking about, like, they don't even know 100% where they came from. Them. Yeah. Wow. And the doors are so tiny. How about Can Constantine? Uh, even in Constantine, these ones I'm talking about in the, the, the south, not a lot of people know about them actually. Okay. Yeah. A long coastline, so there's many beaches. Yeah. And they also have one of the largest mosques in Africa. In fact, I think uh, the mosque was actually the largest in Africa at one point, Jamia Al Jazeera. But um, there's a lot of competition going on in Africa. You know, things change. It's quite sporadic. One minute, this is the biggest mosque. The next minute, that's the biggest mosque. Number four, Algeria is incredibly affordable. C'est une bonne marché, as they say in French. So what did you end up getting? I bought a briefcase <laughs> for... Um... No, it's this old, old leather one. Oh, okay. And it was like, uh, online it was like $250 and I got it for $3. Wow. Yeah. But it was used. And I was going to say cheap, but I don't want anyone to misunderstand me. I don't want people in the comments saying, Ede etranger gulu jizeriin bukhala. No, that's not what I said. The country itself is incredibly affordable. The most expensive thing for me was the hotel, which was uh, 70 euros. And this was a four star hotel. I couldn't complain because in France I had spent uh, the same amount of money. And that was in uh, Les Bonlieu, just at the outskirts, not even in, in the center. And uh, it was a three star hotel and it was nowhere near the quality of the hotel in Algeria. The food is affordable. The yeah. funny thing is, do you know how expensive this is in the United States? No. So like, for example, these are 80, right? Yeah. yeah. That would be probably about 1,200, 1,200 wow. in the United States. Really? For a piece. For, oh yeah. And it wouldn't be that big, it'd probably be about half. I thought the sizes very, in the US were huge. expensive. Transportation is affordable. Even the domestic flights are affordable. And in some cases, due to the hospitality of the people, you might even find yourself struggling to pay. I've been trying to pay for stuff since I arrived. No one's let me, not even just him, no one's let me pay. So, so, uh, yeah. That means we go for lobster. <laughs> Finally, transportation. Transportation in Algeria is incredibly smooth. Buses, trams, subways, domestic flights, fast trains. You name it, Algeria has it. I'm a big fan of the subway in Algiers. Uh, it's very convenient, especially if you want to go downtown and visit Casbah. Uh, additionally, they have uh, the buses. The buses are great. The Algeria is quite hot. I'm not sure if they have air conditioning on the buses, but I didn't. I didn't find myself getting hot, or I didn't. I didn't find that it was overcrowded and you know struggling to breathe that sort of thing. No, because of the weather. Oh, yeah. Because you weren't feeling well, and then the hot. Yeah, it's not like hot as. You need to take off your jacket or something like that. No, 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 it's fine. Oh, it may have been the time that I'd taken the bus, but honestly, I had a great experience on Algerian transportation. It's also quite cheap. Um, I would advise that if you're going to change your money to do it um, with the guys near Casper. There's, there's a group of guys that are literally just hanging around on the road with, with money and they're, they're ready to change it up. They... <laughs> They they have no issue. Maybe you might find yourself haggling with them a bit, but 
I doubt it because usually they have set rates. 